Hey folks, um, welcome to a very spontaneous, um, very badly prepared um, quick stream that I wanted to do to um, support two of my friends, um, Oblotsky, who is uh, currently running a group by for Switch Films, which are produced and developed by another friend of mine who is um, Kin25 of TX Keyboards. Um, Kin has been um, a very innovative driving force be, um, behind lots of um, very neat and uh, innovative products for custom keyboards and uh, keyboard building. And one of the, his greatest inventions or developments are these, um, these switch films. Um, they are... Um, an improvement over the uh, stickers that used to that you, that were used for um, cherry switches to reduce wobble and um, improve the the solidness of the switch. And um, since there's currently a group by running, and I've had people asking um, in my stream videos what I was referring to when I was talking about switch films and putting films on switches. I wanted to make a very short video demonstrating the benefit of switch films. Um, I think this video may, will make it very clear. Um, it's still a personal preference um, if you want to use those and if this is uh, something important to you. But um, it's not snake oil, it's a real thing. These switch films do from my perspective significantly um, improve the switch feel. Um, but of course, uh, the switch feel that you are uh, aiming for, the, your desired switch feel, um, might uh, might be a different one. So, I took one of these generic uh, cheap uh, cherry switches that I keep finding on my doorstep um, into a uh, what what do you call them? Into something that holds it very tightly, like very tightly. This is a heavy metal. And um, what I want to do now is something that Oblotsky did in a video recently. I just want to take a take a pair of pliers, like a pincers, and show you how much the switch top actually moves. You should be able to see it on the video. Unfortunately, I'm just using a GoPro for these videos, and I can't zoom in any further without losing focus. Um, so I hope this does it. If if you can't see how much the the switch top actually moves on the switch bottom, um, you might want to full screen the video. Um, just be aware the f the switch bottom is tightly held in place, like absolutely solid, by this damn it wrench. No, it's not a wrench. There's a name for this, and um, yeah, please post it in the comments. <laughs> yeah, so you can see the switch top does have some uh, space to move. <coughs> now let's apply the uh, the switch films. Oh no, one other thing I wanted to demonstrate to you is the sound. This is the sound we get from a from a switch top that has a little bit of play. The way I apply these switch films, I um, I grab them with a pair of tweezers and then I just put them down on the switch bottom like this. Um, very easy to apply, no no sticky mess like with stickers. And um, I'm just gonna put the switch top back on. Oh, these switches are so nice. Um, okay, first thing, let's check the sound. You might not be able to hear it on the video. I think it's it's gone to a, a slightly more bassy sound um, because the, the the two components that you hit on they don't have um, any room to resonate anymore against each other. And now look at this. There, 
the the switch top just doesn't move at all anymore. The only wobble that I have left is the actual stem. And that is actually what we want to go for. Um, I mean, obviously you can't have a switch with zero wobble. It's practically impossible because the switch has to move in some kind of um, canal or slider, whatever thing. Um, and it, it can't be, um, it can't be with no tolerance. Uh, Gateron tried that, and uh, one of their first batches of switches were um, were crap because the 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 switch top case was so tight that um, some keycap stems actually hit on the top case, so they had to uh, change that. So you can see nothing moves except for the stem, and this is what we want. We want the switch case, the switch housing, to be a solid unit and this is what gives you a very very firm and very um, very, very nice uh, solid key feel um, it goes along great with massive great um, with massive uh, big custom aluminium keyboards this is the kind of switch housing this kind of switch housing effect you want to have for big massive aluminium uh, custom keyboards it's a great addition I'm really happy that um, Kin has even improved those. These uh, films are from an earlier round of his um, um, group buys or productions, um, and he has um, made them a tiny bit thinner. I think he went from like it's something 0.15 millimeters. So it is. It, those are very. They they're they're down to I think two or three, um, like a yeah, thousands of a millimeter, or ten hundreds of a millimeter. So it's it's like, yeah, he he's been trying out different thicknesses to find the perfect one. He's been going from point. One five to point one five one seven five to point one two five. He's tried out different ones. These are the older ones, which are a bit thicker, and um, they sometimes require a bit of force to get the switch top back on. I do appreciate those because they really give you the tightest fit. The ones he's selling now are pretty much perfect. They have been. Um, he tried out various thicknesses, um, and he he picked the one that is just going going to give you the perfect experience. No uh, no more problems uh, getting your switches closed. So if you are a fan of uh, vintage cherry switches, cherry switches in general, I don't know how they how these films work with um, any other brands. Um, I just know they work amazing with cherry switches. They are part of my standard modding routine i use them for every modding of mx switches that i do and uh, i love the experience i wouldn't want to miss it they are pretty cheap um, i think they're like less than five dollars for a um, uh, hundred uh, pieces of uh, films yeah i get them while they're uh, while they're there i think the group buy is going to close very soon i've been i'm very late with this video um and the link's going to be in the description. Um, yeah, my early viewers are probably going to be able to get into the group by all the other ones. Um, contact uh, Kin directly on Telegram or uh, wait for the next group by. These switches, uh, these films aren't rare. They're supposed to be available. They're supposed to be ready, readily available. Everyone's supposed to get them. Um, Kin is really not trying to create a... Um, yeah, an aftermarket here. He's really trying to satisfy everyone. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for to Oblotsky and Kin for um, running this group by. And um, yeah, I hope um, I was able to demonstrate why I am convinced that uh, Switch Films are an amazing invention. <laughs>